Hey all, Kelly of Kelbell Studio here with you. And no, I'm not doing a paper dress today. In fact, this is a sneak peek of the Zorita Burlesque dress that I'm doing for July. But I wanted to show you how to make this paper. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for her skirt. So I ended up just playing around with some techniques and some paint and paper and came up with this, which I really, really like. So that's uh, with this video, I'm going to show you how to make this great paper. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start with some lightweight. I'm using lightweight paper. The lightweight paper gathers better. This happens to be paper that I got from, obviously, the paper source. And it has a watermark on it. So what's going to end up happening is the watermark is going to go bye-bye because don't cringe when I do this yep I'm going to crinkle it up so once you've crinkled it the way you like it then you can flatten it out and as you can see our watermark is gone and the only thing that's left are these little areas that are thinner in places than in others. So what this does is it starts to take on a fabric-like quality once you've crinkled it up, you know, and you can ruffle it like fabric and do all kinds of fun stuff with it because it's not so rigid. So look how fun this is. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my paint. And what this is, is I've got this pearlescent, this is uh, waterfall green. And I only happen to get one of these, but I like it so much that I think I need some more now. So I just added a few drops into a, this is actually an old hairspray bottle, a few drops into a hairspray bottle, the unused, well, not it wasn't unused before, but whatever, you know. A, an, an empty little tester hairspray bottle with some with some water in it and then what I'm going to do you're gonna love this put some wax paper or some newspaper down or something so you don't get this all over the place or maybe even do it over the sink which I probably will complete some of this over the sink but I'm just gonna spray it Give it some color and voila, look, our watermark is coming back. Don't get too excited, it'll go bye bye again once we dry it. So you just spray on as much as you want on here, as much color as you want. And then we're going to need to let it dry. Now I use a hair dryer because uh, an embossing gun is gets a little hot. So just keep that in mind. And then, you know, the back side of it, you can still see color through it, which is pretty awesome. Because with the Zorita dress, I am going to see the backs of the skirts, which is the first time that that's happened. So I'm gonna go dry this and I'll be back. So once it's dried, I've got this gorgeous, shimmery, blue-green paper that we can do something with. And I gave a light spray to the back just because. Oh, now I have sparkles all over my... Anyway. So what can we do to this now? I have an idea. If you have some kind of a scripty rubber stamp. We can add some uh, rubber stamping effects to this and I've got some Versamark turquoise. Turquoise gem which is a little bit darker than my paint which is good because if it wasn't it wouldn't show up. Just 
going to saturate my stamp. And I can just start adding some, some script. And it's okay if the whole thing doesn't get on there, you know, you're just hinting. So now you've just got a little hint of a script on here. And it looks kind of cool. I think, anyway. So you can experiment around with uh, various things. I added a little, little pink butterfly up here, which maybe if I was doing another project that would uh, add in another one down there, and I just didn't quite like it. So I think I like this just as it is for my Zorita skirt, but feel free to play around and try some different things with your papers. So. This is a great way to not have to depend on the scrapbooking industry to provide you with paper that you like, because it seems lately I don't find a lot that I like. So you gotta make it yourself. Anyway, that is the project. Have fun, enjoy. And uh, I'll make a posting on my blog about this, so if you do decide to come visit me, and I hope you will, I love visitors and commenters then you can uh, put a link to your work. So that's it. Thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next time. See you for the Zorita dress.